Unit 7, Lesson 3, Comparing Positive and Negative Numbers. Number 1. Decide whether each inequality statement is true or false. Explain your reasoning. A. Negative 5 is greater than 2. Well, obviously that's false, but if it's not so obvious to you, I drew a number line and I put negative 5, 5 units to the left of 0, and positive 2, 2 units to the right of 0. The further to the left, the smaller the number's value. So 2 is actually greater than negative 5. B. 3 is greater than negative 8. That's true, because 3 is further to the right on the number line, making it greater than negative 8. And negative 8 is further to the left on the number line, making it less than 3. C. Negative 12 is greater than negative 15. That's also true, because negative 12 is further to the right on the number line than negative 15. And the number that's further to the right on the number line always has a greater value than any number that's to its left on the number line. D. Negative 12 and 5 tenths is greater than negative 12. That's false, because negative 12 and 5 tenths is further to the left on the number line, making it smaller than negative 12. The value for negative 12 and 5 tenths is less than the value for negative 12. Number 2. Here is a true statement. Negative 8 and 7 tenths is less than negative 8 and 4 tenths. Select all the statements that are equivalent to negative 8 and 7 tenths is less than negative 8 and 4 tenths. Well, I did not select A, because negative 8 and 7 tenths is not further to the right on the number line than negative 8 and 4 tenths. I also didn't select D, because negative 8 and 7 tenths is not greater than negative 8 and 4 tenths. I also didn't select E, because negative 8 and 4 tenths is not less than negative 8 and 7 tenths. I selected B, C, and F. B because negative 8 and 7 tenths is further to the left on the number line than negative 8 and 4 tenths. I selected C because negative 8 and 7 tenths is less than negative 8 and 4 tenths. And I selected F because negative 8 and 4 tenths is greater than negative 8 and 7 tenths. Number 3. The table shows five states and the lowest point in each state. Put the states in order by their lowest elevation from least to greatest. California's lowest elevation is negative 282, or 282 feet below sea level. So I'd put that as the lowest. Louisiana is also in the negatives, with its lowest point being at negative 8, or 8 feet below sea level. So Louisiana would go second on the list. The next lowest would be New Mexico. New Mexico's lowest elevation is 2,842 feet. Wyoming would be next, with its lowest elevation being 3,099 feet above sea level. And then finally, Colorado would be the highest elevation. Its lowest point is 3,350 feet above sea level. Number four, plot each of the following numbers on the number line. Label each point with its numeric value. 4 tenths, negative 1 and 5 tenths, negative 1 and 7 tenths, negative 11 tenths. On the number line, the furthest to the right would be 4 tenths. That's the greatest number of the four numbers that they gave us. Just to the left of the 0, or left to negative 1, is negative 1 and 1 tenth. That's the next largest number out of the group. To the left of negative 1 and 1 tenth is negative 1 and 5 tenths. And then finally, between negative 1 and 5 tenths and negative 2 is negative 1 and 7 tenths. Number 5. Each lap around the track is 400 meters. A. How many meters does someone run if they run two laps? Well, if one lap around the track is 400 meters and they run two laps, that would be two laps times 400 meters or... 800 meters. 5 laps. That would be 5 times 400 or 2,000 meters. And then finally x laps. That would be 400 meters times x number of laps or 400x. B. 
If Noah ran 14 laps, how many meters did he run? 400 times 14, or 14 times 400, and that would be 5,600 meters. In green at the bottom, I broke it down as 14 times 400 equals 7 times 400 plus 7 times 400. 7 times 4 is 28, so 7 times 400 is going to be 2,800. So 2,800 plus 2,800 equals 5,600 or 5,600. C. If Noah ran 7,600 meters, how many laps did he run? 7,600 divided by 400, that's the same as 76 divided by 4. You see, if we made 7,600 100 times smaller, it would be 76. And if we made 400 100 times smaller, it would be 4. 76 divided by 4 is 19. And 7,600 divided by 400 would also be 19. 7,600 meters equals 19 laps. Number 6. A stadium can seat 16,000 people at full capacity. A. If there are 13,920 people in the stadium, what percentage of the capacity is filled? Explain or show your reasoning. 13,920 divided by 16,000 is 87 hundredths, or 87 over 100, or 87 percent. With 13,920 people in the stadium, that would be 87 percent of the capacity. B. What percentage of the capacity is not filled? Well, 100% of the capacity minus 87% of the capacity equals 13% of the capacity. 13% of capacity is not filled. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 3, Comparing Positive and Negative Numbers. Okay.